So let's go over the fricative consonants. Um, we'll sort of group them by place of articulation in voiceless voice pairs. So just to organize them. They are th, th, s, z, sh, z, and and doesn't have a voiced cognate. Uh, so how do we conceptualize fricatives? Well, um, if we go back to our um, sort of template for conceptualizing manners of articulation, we can start with the degree of closure. We talked about um, stops before having full, full closure, full occlusion. That's not the case for fricatives. Fricatives have partial closure. So if we think of a sound like Shh. The tongue is going to approximate um, the palate and um, uh, air is still able to freely flow. Um, the pressure then is going to be considerable and it depends a little bit on which consonant we're talking about. Um, the pressure will be slightly different uh, depending on the degree of closure, um, uh, but it's still going to be considerable for the fricatives. Um, for the release. Now this is very different. The release for stops was sudden. Um, the pressure um, built behind that valve and then was released all at once. Um, fricatives are released gradually. So I can um, continue to make a fricative for a while. So I could do Z, sh, and the fact that I can hold these sounds and sustain them um, makes them special. And uh, we call those sounds continuance, sounds that can be held and sustained. Uh, stops cannot be held in that way. We can hold the silent portion of a stop. So I could do p, but I can't hold the the p itself. I can't hold the release because the release was all at once. Um, so a gradual release for um, fricatives. Um, the timing of that release relative um, to the um, constriction, uh, they accompany one another. So I can actually start releasing as my articulators approximate one another. Uh, they can kind of go, um, they can kind of um, happen at the same time. And then the airflow. Uh, you can probably already tell that the airflow is very turbulent. Shh is a very noisy, turbulent, chaotic kind of sound. And that's one of the defining characteristics of fricatives.